day come to you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Having done all, to stand. So you fastened your belt of truth. What's next? We're committed to truth and have let God's truth master us. What's the next step in doing all to stand? Ephesians 6 tells us the next step is having on the breastplate of righteousness. A Roman soldier's breastplate was on for one primary purpose, protection. From his neck to his legs, the breastplate covered his vital organs, his heart, his lungs, the things that keep him alive. It's like Kevlar, a bulletproof vest. It keeps the soldier safe. Righteousness, what is it? Is it simply integrity or good works, being pious and religious with the holier-than-thou attitude? No. Righteousness is given to us. It is part of the free gift of salvation. Romans 4 teaches us, but to him that doesn't work, but believes on him that justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Abraham simply believed, and it was counted to him as righteousness. We cannot be righteous. We need Christ and his robe of righteousness to cover us. We need him to be our breastplate and protect us, because there is none righteous, no, not one. All of our best efforts towards righteousness are as filthy, disgusting rags. We need His righteousness to cover us, to protect us. It's only by His grace that He says, justified, declared to be righteous. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. His righteousness is this breastplate. It is His righteousness that protects us from the fight and enables us to move forward. This is your standing. This is your position because of Christ, justified. And you can't be moved. Your sin doesn't move you from His eternal protection. You have been eternally forgiven. Your best work doesn't move you. His righteousness is freely given and it's all about Him. There is nothing more you need to do. It's only because of this declaration of righteousness that we can be sanctified, thoroughly furnished unto all good works, by the renewing of your mind with His truth, to live out the putting on of this bulletproof vest of righteousness, is to live daily, moment by moment, step by step, in obedience to our Heavenly King. We've been bought with a price, justified, and now we are being made more like the image of Christ through His grace. And it is His righteousness that protects us. This sanctification takes time. It sometimes hurts. But it is the righteousness of God that protects us and strengthens us as we grow in Him and live the way He would want us to. Walk worthy. He is the truth. He is our strength and it's by Him that we stand. He will see this battle through to the end. He, God, sent His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit, and ultimately, so that we will be conformed to the image of His Son. So be confident, be bold, stand being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He, Jesus Christ, is faithful. He is the one that will do it. So stand.